Ah, hey, don't you? Well, I'm trying out and going to install for Door 23 Workstation with it. This is it. XFCE desktop spin with, uh, I think, media stuff file, uh, media spin. Uh, this is the welcome screen once you get it booted up. I just spent a couple hours trying to get a USB stick to work, and I tried it by uh, restoring an image to a USB stick the way they tell you, the way I've done it before, ever since Fedora 20 or something like that, when they started changing things where you couldn't use UNEV booting and all that. And uh, anyway, it wouldn't boot. It wouldn't do anything. Just get a little cursor on the screen. Tried it on another machine, and uh, it did the same thing. So another, I'm, uh, it, I'm going to dual boot Windows 7 on this one, Windows 7 Pro. It's this thing right here. Just got it. Somebody, uh, it was broke. Well, operate Windows 7 was broke, and uh, I got it. Somebody gave it to me. It's a uh, Lenovo Think Center. It's a i5 quad core, so that's probably not going to be too bad. It has a little 250 gigabyte hard drive, and I want to. I've already got Windows 7 Pro on it, and. Uh, actually broke the boot. I thought it broke the boot. I finally realized I had to go into to hit a, uh, enter and then hit F12 and then select EUFI or UEFI or however which, which way you say the letters to make it boot back into Windows 7. I even tried uh, fixing it with the, my, my install CD. That's what I had done. I had a Windows 7 Pro install CD and DVD and uh, I had fixed it with that and reinstalled it and reformatted the whole drive because I didn't want all the crap that used to be on it anyway. It had an encrypted drive uh, that's a uh, bit locker encryption and I never even encountered it before because that's a that's an enterprise thing you know and I haven't really encountered the inter enterprise uh, Windows 7 before so uh, I did some you know some learning and pl playing around with it and it, there's supposed to be some ways you could get in the command line and do all kinds of junk and and uh, unencrypt the drive, but uh, I don't need, I didn't want the stuff, I wanted it gone anyway, so I quit fooling with it, I did it, I messed around for about a day, and then, uh, <clears throat> so, uh, once I finally, I finally, finally, I'll show that, of course the video gets terrible anytime I move, this is a, where is it, oh it's in there, um, so this, here's one, I have, uh, it's not the same one, but it's this kind of a disc, I think I can show it, and it's kind of tricky to take it out. But anyway, it's a DVD or RAM disc. It's you know like a whole lot more. Let's see, like seven gigabytes or something will fit on it. Anyway, you can erase it and rewrite it a lot of times, thousands of times. So I didn't want to waste the DVD. I always use my USB sticks and then rewrite them every time I do it different. I'm always messing around with different Linux distros and trying them out and putting it on different machines and. If you can see down there, very good. But oh, that one down there is running. That has Windows 7 on it. I get uh, that one that's blue and white. The first one I ever built back in about 02 or something like that. It has a Fedora 22 on it on XFCE, and it'll run it. It's a Pentium 4 <coughs> with uh, 2 gig of RAM. And then the one with all the lights is only a 1.8 core to 1.8 gigahertz running Fedora. 14 and uh, a couple other Linux distros I don't really use. And then IBM is my server and it's running uh, Fedora 23 server. I just got that all set up and going. This used to be my server down here. If you can see it. It's an old uh, Dell GX1. Um, forgot what it was. But anyway, it's very, I would say 46. It's not quite that old. It's a uh, it's a 450 megahertz, and I ran that as my server for a little seven or eight years, and uh, finally decided to upgrade it because the operating system, I was running Chaos Linux on it, and it finally quit being updated or anything. So, I'm going to, I can't see the screen and make my video at the same time. I know my hand's going to get tired holding this in one hand, but i got to use the mouse. Okay, so you can install the hard drive here on the welcome screen, and this is for door 23. They call it Workstation, and uh, it's Fedora 23 Workstation, uh, and I uh, got the uh, 
spin one of the spins it's uh, got the XFC desktop XFCE because I wanted it to well you probably couldn't didn't notice that I don't know if you noticed that laptop but a lap that's an, a Dell 1525 laptop sitting under that that's not where that you know think center is going to stay that laptop I use it to watch TV and stuff I, have, I plug it into my old TV that's D but it has enough I have an VCR that are SVDO, SVHS VCR that I plug, have a cable running over there so I can watch TV on the TV that way. I don't have a good TV. And this screen would be just fine for watching TV, but it's not. It kind of can't relax on the bed and watch TV that way. So I, I'd like to sometimes, I always would like to, you know, relax and watch watch TV on the TV before I go to sleep and stuff. So I really wanted to figure out a way to set this up, but I, I, if I don't have it where I can see it, then I don't know if I even have it aimed right. So, uh, okay, I'm going to hit try Fedora. You can choose install the hard drive and the activities overview at any time. Okay, that's what I want to do. I guess I hit close now. Also, I guess uh, I was already there. It went to sleep on me and showed a weird screen, a weird uh, kind of like a screen saver screen or something, and it kept going back in like every 30 seconds. And, I was trying to get this thing to make, get my video going and drive me crazy. But now I'm here finally. Let's see. This is uh must. It looks like this looks like Genome Three. But it's supposed to. I guess that's supposed to install XFCE. I cannot stand Genome Three. I still use uh, Genome Two. And uh, I still use Genome Two and. Um, mate let's see install the hard drive files show shot well rhythm box evolution of course firefox this is new enough that firefox should work i was making just just taking screen pictures with my other little camera i had a better nikon and it broke and now i'm using an old olympic olympus that it it's only like 1.7 megapixels and you can't even really get good uh, screen pictures with it so I thought wow I don't, this thing was uh, in the living room and I thought why the heck don't I try this because I, I messed around with it it was a Christmas present not to me but somebody else in the family I thought heck this thing works pretty good for making videos and pictures so I thought why not? So, uh, i got to figure out some way to hold this. Can't hold it still. Um, well, there's not even a way to maximize the browser in, in this setup they got here. So, um, it's the door web page. Yeah, I, always, I can't stand that either. Okay, there you go. Right click, minimize, maximize. Why, why would you want to have to do an extra thing like right click when it should just be a square and a minus and a X there? We can just click, click, click. That's why I like about the old uh, desktops, what they call old or traditional desktops. You can work 10 times faster. I, have, I always use six workspaces and, uh, and, uh, keep everything to where you know where you've got all your menus showing by just and you can just click one to two clicks you get er everywhere you don't do all this junk you got to do with uh you know three so i just wanted to see that the it was online and stuff and that's working off of a dvd too so that's not too bad of a working speed or, you know, I'm not even USB of course is a lot faster. I hit close and it's kind of think I can hear the DVD kind of rattling. So that's the only thing slowing it down. There's your power off. Well, I remember the first time I got on Genome Three there. I don't think there there wasn't one up there. I tried and tried to find a way to power it off. I couldn't find it. There's your network. I've heard I've read that they've kind of improved it a little bit, but. It's still too much the same for me. And most of my machines are kind of old. And they won't run Genome 3 anyway, even if I wanted to. It would be in the fallback mode, which uh, it's not great, you know. It's kind of, a lot of things don't work right. 
but um, so I clicked on install the hard drive. We'll see what happens here. <clears throat> I tried before I started this to set this on the desk or something, but you know, it's, it's uh, off to the side real bad too whenever I do that. I'm holding it up in front of my face and peeking around the side of it, but I can see me shaking. I have a, uh, you can see where I have my old webcams in a, in a little small tripod up there. And that's PVC pipe that I have them stuck in. I'm kind of rigged me up a mount for them. But um, here we are. So just you know, this, uh, this I'm, uh, you know, if you haven't yet installed 4 Door 23, then uh, this is your first screen. You're in, you know, me, of course, English and uh English English hit continue down on the bottom right and uh, and then it'll start um, installation destination is waiting on you to do the network host name date and time all the the server one has a whole lot more well that's because it was the net install and you could set up a lot of different things um, now I already have Windows on there, so I got to get in there and and figure this out. Let's see. I know what I want to call it. I always change it. I don't like to, since I have so many different machines on the same network. I don't leave leave the local host a local domain. I give it a real name. What a weird noise! <laughs> Sound like a dog bark. But uh, okay. We'll see. Um, I don't know if I can do this one-handed. Is it? Um, I type with both hands. I type on the keyboard. I can't type on these screens in a, in a tablet, <laughs> and I don't even have a mobile phone, so I'm not used to all this one-handed stuff. Um, oh, okay. Lenovo i5. That's what I've named the machine. Novo i5. L E N O V O i5. Local domain. Dot local domain. Okay. Date and time America Chicago. That, that Chicago, they got what I want. Keyboard US. So they don't have near as much for you to choose from in here. Now, if I use automatic partitioning, that's where I get hung up. I don't need to make, I've left blank space for where I want. But, I, oh yeah, I left it blank this time. I, last time, I, I've already done this once. And I, I just went in there and did a mock. Well, what if I was installing with my uh, Fedora 20, 23 server installer and saw what it was going to be like. And uh, I, I can't ever remember how to do it manually. I'm not going to click on it, but you had to put in your 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 your, uh, your mount you have to put in your different partitions and your home and your root and all that junk and I can't remember exactly how to write it out to where it works right so uh, I want to do it automatic if I can except for I want uh, this is only gonna I only have like 119 gigabyte of space on each partition for each operating system so I don't want it divided up with, you know, like a 50, it was going to be a 50 gigabyte root and a 50 gigabyte home. Well, I just want 109, almost 19 gigabytes for the whole thing, and then 500 megabytes for the uh, boot partition, and that's all I need. Um, that way I've got more space at my disposal in my, you know, for my own files. And they'll just kind of, the root and the, and the home will just, partitions will be the same, so if I fill it up, because what's happened to me in the past is I fill up my home, but I got all this space in the root in the root partition that I can't use whenever the drives aren't very big, or well, even if they are big, I fill them up. Uh, resizing is pretty tricky. You you know you can do it. There's uh, there's actually some graphic program graphical programs that will resize the LVMs, and uh, with that supposedly without losing data. But I haven't ever wanted to try for anything that's my you know my machine I've been using for the last couple of years. So. Yeah, here it is, 116.44 gigabyte. That's what I got now on this partition. Okay. 
<clears throat> the whole thing is 232. It's a 250 gigabyte hard drive. Uh, by the time Windows got through, and it basically, well, I, I, you know, I did that. I, I formatted the half of it as NTFS before I started with Gparted, and uh, and then I actually ended up redoing it all over again uh, because you had to have two small partitions, uh, system partitions, and then um, your your main NTFS partition for your operating system and files. Uh, you had to have three partitions for Windows. So. But they ended up, I let it do it automatically in the Windows uh, installer and uh, ended up just being like 200 megabytes each and then 116 for the NTFS, so it was all right. So I think it automatically selected the drive and since it's got an em all that empty space on it, see, it says free right there, gigabyte free, if you can see that, then uh, you can either say automatically or I can I will configure. So I'm going to hit automatically and see what how it looks. I don't think it'll show you is the thing. There used to be a, a deal where you could say show me how it's going to be, you know, but it's not doing that. So I'm going to click on done, and but I believe it's just going to, it's not going to tell me. I don't like, there's a lot of things I don't like about the new installers. Yeah, okay, so now you could be begin your installation. But uh, right here on the bottom right, you click begin installation. But the thing is, I know I'm not going to get what I really want. Wouldn't be the end of the world. I mean, uh, well, on a on a server, it's kind of okay because I let I I forgot about it on my server and ended up with two big, really bigger than I wanted of a root partition. I want to, and but it get you know with the server you're going to put a lot of files in uh, on the root partition, you know your your websites and everything. So I thought, well, that'll be all right. I'm going to go in here and click I will configure myself. Now it'll give me this screen. And it says click there to create them automatically. I kept playing around with that. There's your LVN. Okay. Where's my... Now here's where, see, you're having... Of course, you don't... You don't put it on that. There's 100 megabytes there, 128 there, and 116 for NTFS. It's not even showing me. Oh, I guess because it's nothing there yet because it's blank. Yeah, okay. So if you just leave it like that, of course you don't want it there either. So I'm gonna unclick that. Okay, so here's what it, okay, if you do it manually, yeah, you don't want it to be on one of those. Okay, you for, reformat your Windows system. Uh, your mount point. Uh, oh, that's, show, no, that is that first one. See, so that's where you get in a little bit of trouble. So now you're really going to have to say do it automatically. Okay, home 62 gigabytes, boot 500 megabytes, BIOS, BIOS boot 1 megabyte. Okay, it has to add that, I guess, to make grub, give a grub to get it to work with the e UEFI. Now, see, there's your root 50 gigabyte. I don't want it that big. Okay, here's what I can do, I think. How big do I want it? I shouldn't need any more than 25 gigabytes. Let's see what happens. Now. Yeah, that worked. Okay, I'm going to try for 100. Of course, I won't get that. And I noticed that before. See, it, it gave me the most as I could. It says desired capacity. Now, is 25 gigabyte big enough for root? Should be. If it's not, if I install a bunch of apps and I run out of space. So maybe they did the best thing for me, huh? You think? Could have. I can make it 30. Make it... Uh, that was 60 before. I'm not making much of a change, am I? 70. 
Make this. I'm gonna make this 30 because I'm kind of worried about making it. Kind of worried about making it. Uh, has a little makes a little noise there. That was that noise I heard a while ago, I think. Okay, 30 for root, 82 for yeah. And 30 for root, 82 for home, 500 has to be there for boot. Used to be, you know, if they had gone up to like 550 or something, and now they went back down. That's kind of interesting. They must have streamlined something. And of course, those won't be bothered. The swap, 3.75 gigabytes. That's just for door Lenovo i5 root. Okay, BIOS boot. Says SDA four. So that's a new one on me. Might have been in my server and I didn't notice it. But I think it might be because this is the EUFI system, not OIBM. It's a it's an i586. You know, no, I mean EUEFI, EUFI. I always say that wrong. Okay, I'm gonna hit done. Okay. Your custom adding will result in the changes taking effect after you return. Okay. How many partitions am I going to have here? Four, five, five, boot, okay. Six. Six. It seems like I did something really strange. I shouldn't have so many partitions. Okay, Fedora. One, see, one, two, three, four. Okay. Four. And then there's five, six, seven, eight. So I should only have eight. Okay, I've got. I've got root. Okay, I think it's just, uh, I'm kind of remember whenever I used to, I always have always, when I installed sys Fedora systems, looked at all this. And I remember there being some, like, seeming like, this is LVML. That's a new thing I'm not quite familiar with. I'm going to say that that is okay. And we'll say, okay, now. I don't have any errors. I can always do it again if it's got like all these bunch of tiny partitions that I got no use for. Begin installation. Now this takes a little while. Put my hand up here. Okay. Now you've got where you want to. You need to uh, make your root password and your. Uh, I'm going to always make my, me a re regular user as well. And so, uh, especially on a desktop system or a workstation as they call it. So, I'm going to have I'm gonna have to put this thing down to do that stuff. And it will, even though it looks like it's going pretty fast, it probably will. Uh, it might go a little faster because uh, before I was all downloading from the internet because I was using net install. Because it's a lot smaller. It's only like five 600 megabytes instead of. This was 1.9 gigabytes, and the biggest USB stick I have is two, so it just fit on there. But it's still something about the way I was writing it on there didn't work, because it didn't fail. It it, 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 it went on there just fine. So uh, I'm gonna stop this video. Maybe I'll start another one in a minute, and uh, I'll get it. You know, when it's when it's kind of done.